afternoon, everyone. Welcome to day 18 of Church in the Time of Quarantine. Uh, it is also April 3rd, and it's also Friday, um, which I don't know matters a whole lot in these uh, strange days, but uh, if you've been working for the weekend, well, here it is for you. So uh, happy, happy greetings to everyone, and uh, hope everybody is, is doing well. Uh, have a announcement, a uh, thank you coming from uh, from Andrea Keck, uh, thanking Bruce and Shirley Robertson as well as Mary Lloyd Lynn Murphy for making uh, making 50 masks uh, for her and uh, other nurses down at uh, at St. Luke's Hospital. So um, thank you from Andrea and for all from uh, all those who work with her for uh, for making those. So good on you and uh, thanks so much for that. Uh, you probably in an email you would have gotten the update from Bishop Miller about um, what uh, what is happening uh, in the next month uh, as far as public worship in uh, in this diocese. Uh, I can answer that with one word: nothing. Uh, according to the email, where there will not be uh, any any public worship until potentially on May first, which is a Friday. So I don't know what we would do on May first, but um, anyway, if it's open. We'll we'll do something. Uh, so anyway, that uh, that's where things stand. So um, you settle in for a lot more of my videos. Good luck to you. Uh, number three trivia. So uh, we had uh, had a number of right answers on this one again. Um, the answer was uh, according or the question according to the musical The Sound of Music. Uh, how old was Liesel? She was sixteen, going on seventeen. Um, unlike her Nazi boyfriend Rolf, who was 17 going on 18, but uh, enough about Rolf. So uh, correct answers came from Jay Grinnig, uh, my mother Melinda Cunningham, and Mathis Murphy. So uh, good job to all of you, and um, you will be, you are now in the company of glory and greatness, so uh, good job. Uh, today's trivia question, it's a little bit odd, but Times are a little bit odd, so uh, you get a little bit of an odd question today. Question is, what is the highest point from Earth's center, from the center of the Earth? Not from sea level, from the center of the Earth. So the answer, just to give you a little hint, is not Mount Everest, or is it the ski hill over here in Economwalk? Um, so the highest point from the, uh, the center of the Earth. So if you have that one, uh, send that to me, and... Uh, you will you will glow from all your glory of winning that. And the last thing I want to do today is uh, have an update. Um, I was asked for how Father Pay was doing. Um, well, got a text from my brother. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so uh, how Father Pay is? Father Pay, in short, is doing extremely well. Uh, he went through, I think it was like forty days of radiation interspersed with chemo. So. Um, he uh, was put through the ringer, but uh, his doctor, in looking at his tongue and the areas that had cancer, said uh, said the recovery uh, or the the result had been miraculous. Uh, got rid of all the cancerous stuff and a bunch of precancerous stuff, which uh, had they done surgery, that would have, would still be there. So, um, but the flip side of that is he had. 40 days of radiation and chemo, so uh, it's a little bit of slow coming back. Uh, his tongue. Uh, it hurts and his mouth hurts and he can't taste stuff and he has slush in his mouth and anyway but uh, he is in good spirits and uh, and uh, very happy to uh, St. John Chrysostom and all that have have, have wished him well uh, in going through this so um, so good news on him and speaking of good news uh, I thought for today's reflection uh, everyone seemed to like good news Friday last week so uh, so by popular demand, uh, we will have Good News uh, Friday again this week. So um, our first story comes from uh, the University of Pittsburgh and the Pitt School of Medicine. Uh, and uh, it says, first potential COVID-19 vaccine to be peer-reviewed shows promise by creating coronavirus antibodies in mice. So basically they've got this patch and it creates antibodies and in mice and it seems to be working. So... Uh, at least the mice in Pittsburgh do not have to practice social distancing at this point in time because they are covered. Uh, as for the rest of us, I guess we get to keep up our social distancing. But uh, the first uh, the first vaccine seems to be uh, seems to be going in the right direction. So that is good to hear. Second story, I just thought this was kind of interesting because um, there are you know 
You can't swing a dead cat around these days without hearing a story about just how bad things are going to be. Um, you know, whether it's in uh, deaths or whatever, someone's out there is predicting horrible things. So uh, this is actually a story predicting some good things. It's titled, uh, The U.S. Job Market is Primed to Adapt. Workers and Businesses Just Need to Survive the Crisis. The gist of it is saying that um, even if things don't bounce back uh, quite as quickly as possible in, uh, in certain industries, there are uh, a number of industries that um, are need more jobs. Uh, one of the interesting factoids they had in here um, was output of soaps, cleaning compounds, and toilet preparations was 24% lower at the beginning of this year than in the middle of 2007. So industries like this uh, seem to need to be producing a lot more stuff than they are. So the idea is certain industries are going to pick up the slack for other industries that uh, that don't come out of this uh, quite as well. So um, hey, so since we're doing predictions, there's a nice cheery prediction that the job market, once we get through this, is going to be just fine. So uh, let's hope that prediction's good. And uh, number three story, uh, this uh, this out of North Korea because. Well, if you can't make fun of North Korea, I don't know what life's no longer worth living. So anyway, according to North Korea, it is free of coronavirus. Um, yes, they, uh, they, they've they taken care of it. So, um, you know, this from, if, uh, well, other things that North Korea has also claimed, just to uh, see if you want to believe them. Um, at one time, um, North Korea claimed that Kim Jong-il, the father of Kim Jong, current dictator Kim Jong-un, um, they claimed he invented the hamburger. Um, so uh, they also claimed that he once shot 38 uh, under par golfing. So um, you know you, you can decide how they're you're going to take their uh, their coronavirus free uh, free claims. But uh, oh, the other one I loved that they said about that North Korea has claimed at one point is that Kim Jong Un does not have to use the bathroom because he has magical powers over that kind of thing. So. Uh, I'll let you figure that one out. I don't really know what to do with that one. But uh, since we heard from Andre today, I thought we'll, uh, we'll wrap things up with uh, uh, the prayer, which we've done before, but it's good to do again. Prayers for doctors and nurses. Let us pray. Sanctify, O Lord, those whom you have called to the study and practice of the arts of healing and the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving spirit that by their ministries the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Talk to you all tomorrow.